So I'm here again at the Glasgow Theosophical Society just prior to the, the Friday night talk, and I thought to myself I'd do a quick video on belief. Um, it's a massive subject. I'm going to just literally add my two pennies on it, and it'll probably be quite brief as opposed to something that's kind of quite in-depth, really. Um, the industrialist Henry Ford once stated, whether you believe you can or can't, you're right, which basically means that we are creating our experience by believing in certain, in, in certain thoughts. So applying this to seeking, we have this thought that something's missing and it's a thought that's taken hold and it's become very, very persistent. So because this thought takes on a life of its own, what happens is that we then start seeking, we start looking for things, we start looking for things outside ourselves, we start meeting teachers and stuff. Once we go further down the path, then another thought comes on board and that is that, yes, that's all very fine and well, that person there making, making that speech or that course I've gone to and that, that teacher, that facilitator, that liberated master, being like that, but I don't think it can happen to me. So another thought then takes life, and <clears throat> this thought that is, uh, I couldn't possibly find it. So seeking takes on the entire life itself, and then what happens, it, it sustains other thoughts, and what happens then is you become a committed seeker with no end in sight, because guess what, the initial thought of, you know, something's missing, and then the other thought of, but I don't think I can really find it, basically takes hold. So by sitting with things like I am, sitting with thoughts like I am whole, I am complete, I am perfect, you can actually start making strides in your journey. So for myself personally, admitting the fact that I wanted to go free was a massive shift in consciousness. And then as it started growing, then the belief that yes, I could. So when I heard that yes, being in an awakened state isn't just it, you know, liberation's where it's at. I was pretty determined to make sure I wasn't one of those people who's gonna be looking at awakenings all his life, but never actually totally finishing seeking now if that sounds like there's a method to this yes there is a method to this sometimes we can sit with certain thoughts so the indian sage nisargadatta maraj sat with the thought i am and and really concentrated on it and actually literally you could say thought himself into liberation because it took root the possibility that yes i could get there so belief is Belief is massive. Now, whether getting there, sorry, just to go back a point, whether getting there was a, a journey of which there was a destination and I can get to that destination, or whether getting there was realizing the divinity that was within and that which was emanating all the time. So regardless of what, what you'll find is when you talk to most seekers, they know most of the stuff. It's just one or two persistent thoughts are in the way. Like I said, I don't think I can find this or, you know, <coughs> something's missing. And it's amazing how when those thoughts get dislodged and the mind is seen for what it is and its thoughts, its machinations, it's amazing how we just fall into our natural state or realize our natural state. So belief is, belief is massive. Belief is absolutely massive. Believe you can. Because if it's all consciousness, then the law of attraction holds in this consciousness, which basically means beware, be, be conscious of what you're actually putting out and stuff. If you're going to be the quintessential seeker and tell me that seeking is fun and... Um, you know, I, I like that, then of course you're not going to find because you're having too much fun there. But when you become conscious of your thought patterns, then you'll start seeing which ones are persistent. And you can replace the persistent one ones with an opposite belief. And that can go to some that can go some way towards you seeing what you actually truly are.